Hi everybody, um, I'm at Fletcher's Pond. Uh, my family and I have been coming here for over 30 years. And when I was a kid, I always used to hear stories about guys coming up into the riverbed and catching big fish. So using my uh, handheld GPS and my phone, I'm gonna make a video for you guys about what it looks like, how to get up into the riverbed, what the riverbed looks like, um, and then what the fishing is like. Um, I found on my way up into the riverbed that most of the bigger fish seem to be out on the edge by the lake. Uh, and in the riverbed, there's quite a bit of water, and quite a bit of current, um, but I didn't really get any bites and didn't see any fish, not even any bait fish. So it's a lot of work to get into the river, um, but if you like kayaking and you can tow your boat, your kayak across Fletcher's with a boat, uh, it's fun to try to get up in here and uh, try to catch some big fish. Hope you enjoy. Morning, it's the beginning, beginning-ish middle of uh, August. I'm going up into the riverbed here at Fletcher's Pond. Gonna try to find where it opens right into the lake and then go up in there a little bit and see if we can find some holes and some fish. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, I'm taking my kayak up in there this morning. I had a boat tow me to the edge and um, now I'm using Google Maps on my phone to try to find where the river comes in. Right now I'm at the mouth of what would be the old river. This is what it looks like. And there's about a foot of water right here. And maybe a quarter of a way to the riverbed. You can see it's real, real thick, but believe it or not, there's still probably close to a foot of water, even as thick as it is. Once you get up in here a ways, uh, if you look around, they're hard to find, but you can find these little pools of open water like this. There's still about 10 inches to a foot of water in them, and they're whole bass. I've caught a couple on the frog now, but it's so thick you really can't fish anything other than a weedless surface lure. Once you get in here a ways, you can see where the reeds are, and you can see that even though there's sparse reeds here and there, that there's definitely a spot where the old river follows through. Uh, it's pretty thick here. You can see the weeds are right to the surface, but there are some holes if you can find them. I found a couple, and it seems like every time I find a hole, there's a bass sitting in it. Okay, I've lost the river, but what this is what it looks like. What's funny is you wouldn't think you could paddle through this, but I'm still going over top of all this little reed grass, whatever it is. Still trying to get up in there. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm far enough in now, you can see where that reed grass has opened up and the channel of the river has started to appear. And if you look at the weeds, you can see there's a little bit of current here too. Once you get almost to the edge of the shore, you'll see the cattails open up a little bit. And then it, it's still super thick, but the river has started to open up some and it's made some little passages that you can follow to get up in there. And then you can definitely see where it goes up into the reeds and the cattails. Here's a shot of the river as it cuts through the cattails. You can see there is some open water, but there's a real slimy like grass. I don't know how well you can see it. And it's right to the surface all the way through here. There's a lot of current. I'm still trying to fish it, but since I've hit the mouth of the river, I haven't caught anything. Okay, I've Hit the point where the river's gonna turn here in a second and go into the woods, and I know it shallows up a lot there. Uh, I've hit a point too where the bottom, instead of being a black marly muck, has now turned to sand, and it's fairly shallow. We're at about a foot, foot and a half. You can 
can see on the fish finder there. There are holes here and there. You know, like right there, there's a hole under the stumps. But I'm not seeing any fish up here in the river. Most of the fish seem to be outside of the river mouth in the reeds. Still cool coming up in here though. Um, once you get into the open water, it's pretty easy. Uh, but getting to the open water was hard.